Good day and what's good? Behold, the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio all-wheel drive. I'm excited, guys, to br bring this Italian-made small-size SUV to the channel. It has a brilliant exterior, white, red leather seats, beautiful, unique vehicle, a lot of interesting features within a vehicle that we will get into. If you're unfamiliar with the Alfa Romeo, I was two at a time, probably when I was about six or seven. There was a cool game called Gran Turismo, and within that game, you will see every single vehicle probably ever made and Alfa Romeo is one of them. So like, again, I said, I'm pretty familiar with it. Now, this is the base model Sprint. The next up is the TI, then the Veloce and the Quadrifiglio. This model starts at about 47,000, depending on the specs and how you, uh, you know, want the vehicle to be brought to you. And at the top is about 86,000 again, and that's the Quadrifiglio. Now, a unique, interesting thing to this vehicle, aside from these brilliant headlights that looks like you know, it's aggressive and angry, is these nice five hole spoke rims. I love the design on it. You have a nice matte finish on these aluminum wheels and it's beautiful, but enough about that. Let's check out the vehicle and check out the ride. So before I even get the car on, I just want to take a nice look at these vents. They look like targets, like what you would have in your scope or your sights on a nice rifle. Very nice touch. But anyway, moving on. So we have our engine start and stop button right located on the left side of the steering wheel, which is very unique. No vehicle that I know has it right in the steering wheel. Usually it's in the back at the center console or the dash. All right, we turn that on. We got our infotainment screen on first, followed by our, our digital dash with the analog cluster and our illuminated footwells, which shines pretty nice on these Air Max 95s. All right, we got our center control, Alfa Romeo crest, I mean, center Alfa Romeo crest, and then our little controls on the steering wheel, which we have our adaptive cruise control button with also our hill descent button, your um, call, as well as volume controls and uh radio station or uh track 
uh, switch buttons. Now, back here you have your aluminum paddle shifters, which is mounted to the steering wheel column. So even when you steer the steering wheel left or right, the paddle shifters stay in place. Now, right behind here, we have the instrument cluster, which is half analog and half digital. Right here, you have your center digital screen. And on the left, you have your RPM gauge. And on the right, you have your miles per hour gauge. Okay. You have three seat settings for the driver. And moving on to the instrument cluster, which is touchscreen. Now this is an 8.8 .8 inch touchscreen and you have various uh, options to choose from between your driver assisting, vehicle information and settings. As of right now, let's, let's leave that as is. And right down here is your ventilation system where you can open and close the vents individually course your hazards everybody knows that now the interesting thing about the indication lights they actually show up right inside the analog gauges which is pretty unique and interesting it's a nice touch down here you have your analog dials for temperature control as well for your heated seating set settings it's three tier heated seatings as well as a uh, heated steering wheel you can control the fan speed with this dial right here and as you can see as soon as you turn it it interacts with the instrument cluster you can as well change the fan speed up here by going to climate touching climate and also sliding your hand across which is very nice touch you can hear the fan getting louder let's bring that down so you can hear me as well you can raise the temperature from here and the corresponding degree will change all right same for the passenger the passenger has access to that as well down here is your cup holders, push that back, nice cup space, USB type A, push that in a slow close. Your gear shift with pneumatic gear shifting, once you push that in, you get the pneumatic gear shifting right there. All right, put that back in drive. All right, we got our emergency parking bay. Uh, this is a drive mode dial, which stands for D is for dynamic, N is for natural, and A is for advanced efficiency. All that really corresponds into sport, comfort, and eco mode. As well, this dial right here helps control the infotainment screen, as well as your home button and your volume button right here. We have wireless charging right here. And right here in the center console is a USB-A, USB Type-C, and an auxiliary plug, which is very nice. All right. And that's pretty much it for the front end of the vehicle. Anyway, we're inside the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Let's take this baby for a drive. And while we're out there, we're gonna get a nice feel for the DNA mode. Safely navigate out of Coney Island. It's a nice day out here. All right, first thing you notice is that backup camera too. Hopefully you can see it and your parking sensors that come up. Now this is a very safe vehicle. You have full speed forward collision warning plus, adaptive cruise control, lane departure assist, blind spot detection, cross path detection, supplemental front and side airbags for the driver. It's a really, really safe vehicle. Tons and tons of features such as your parking sensor and everything works seamlessly with this vehicle. Now we're gonna get out on the highway. We're gonna switch to the DNA drive modes just to get a feel for them. Right now I'm in a natural mode and it's very, you know, equivalent to comfort. It's very smooth, calm, easy drive. So other cool things about this car, you got automatic dimming, power folding side mirrors as well this car is equipped with a carbon fiber drive shaft and with a carbon fiber drive shaft there's three different ones as of uh what i know and it's you have a steel drive shaft which are some of the most um common drive shafts then you move on to an aluminum drive shaft which is more of a sports model drive shaft and then you have the carbon fiber drive shaft now the benefit of a carbon fiber drive shaft is that it's uh strong it's more lightweight and it just overall gives for better performance. And this is a performance vehicle, being that this is the beginning of the model performance in the Sprint, you still get a carbon fiber drive shaft. Now we are on the belt, let's switch up into the dynamic mode. And just like that, I've caught up with traffic that's moving roughly between 50 to 60 miles an hour. Right now I'm actually doing 50. And as soon as I switch into dynamic mode, guys, like the car picks up. There's no lag. 
It doesn't take a little while, a little while to switch. As soon as you turn that dial, it goes. All right, so let's put a little pedal to the metal, switch lanes here. Very nice, very nice. Excuse my speed, I'm just testing out the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. All right, and so far, this is a very comfortable and convenient drive. Again, if you're a driver out there and you wanna experience the thrill of having a nice engine, this is a Ferrari-derived derived engine, I believe, and you definitely have the essence of sport in this vehicle. It's a single turbo, um, direct inject, 2.0 liter engine producing again 280 horsepower and 306 pound feet of torque and my i must say those numbers do not add up to how the drive actually feels it actually feels like you have more horses and more torque in the vehicle as you drive all right and we're going to use the paddle shifters as well just to get a feel for how this car is right now we're in drive where it's automatic gear shifting we're going to go right with the Ooh, nice paddle shifters and right there in the instrument cluster it shows we're in gear six now this is an eight speed automatic transmission so maybe we could get up to eight with this nice gap here Ooh, seven now that was a nice dip in the road and as you can tell the car took it very smooth great suspension and handling in the vehicle again the bolstering has me seated comfortably and uh um rigidly in the seat not in an uncomfortable way when i use the term rigid but stiff and comfortable at the same time where i don't feel like i'm losing my my place in the seat what are you doing my sir my good sir and again at a, a, a very reasonable price point of forty-seven thousand, you can't go wrong with this vehicle you have safety you have power you have presence you have updated modern modern technology that's the lane departure we're gonna turn that off right now and you turn that off with the uh, the left stalk, there's a representative push button in on that side as well. And nice braking as well, nice handling, nice cornering. Again, the bolstering of the seat keeps me in place as I make that turn. Another turn right now at about 30 miles an hour. Let's just see how that feels. Very, oh, very buttery and smooth, guys. Very buttery and smooth. I mean, this car just delivers, delivers an exceptional and wonderful performance. Take a listen to that engine, oh my God. Well done by Alfa Romeo. This is definitely a company I want to see stick around. I hope they don't disappear off the map. And again, oh, there's an Alfa Romeo right at the gas station. I hope uh, anybody that's looking for a luxury, luxurious, um, small size SUV, definitely look to Alfa Romeo because they are doing their thing. So there you have it, the 2022 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Sprint all-wheel drive. It's been a pleasure, guys. This great small SUV, this small SUV has been an exceptional experience. You know my slogan, you click, I drip, you subscribe, I drive. And until next time, guys, don't forget to drip and drive.